Who won't smoke me? Who won't smoke me? They used to call me Nard. I'm Lil Nard, cause my daddy been Nard. And then just Nardo, cause it's more like a rapper name. And then Wick, short for Wicked. I've been doing the bad shit though, when I was like shit, young. Yeah, why do you think we hear about so much it's in Jacksonville, bro? Yeah, that, that shit like, down there like a war down there. It's black and water. Jumped out of the car like it was two back truck, I mean two cars back to back. And they started shooting. Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know we all got dreams and something we wanna achieve. Some of us make it and some of us give up. But Nardo Wick, he's one of the ones that made it. But his story is special because to make it where he made it from takes guts, dedication, and at times a lifestyle that could cost him his life and his freedom. Sounds like a repeat and theme of rappers, I know, but that's the path that they walked to gain stardom. Nardo Wick beat the odds, but those are odds that are coming back to reclaim his fame as karma for his dirt in the streets. So without further ado, let's chop it up and break it down. Coming up in the south side of Jacksonville, Florida, Horace Bernard Walls III, also known as Nardo Wick, was born into a family that weren't any strangers to the criminal elements. In fact, that cost him dearly when his mom's a bona fide hustler and go-getter got caught on fraud charges and was sentenced to five years behind bars when he was just around eight years old. Now, your mother did go to prison. Was it state prison or federal? State. And how much time did she end up doing? Five years. From then, Nardo and his pops was holding it down. That's actually part of why he chose the name for his rap career. He was called Little Nard because his pops was known as Nard, so he flipped it to Nardo, and the wick is short for wicked because that's what Nardo says he's always been. Nardo, like, they used to call me Nard. I'm Lil Nard, cause my daddy been Nard. And then and just Nardo, cause it's more like a rapper name, and then wick, short for wicked. His pops was dealing to keep them afloat, but when his moms got back home is when things started to take a turn for the worse. In his Say Cheese interview, Nardo says at 13, his moms came home and a few months later he went to live with her instead of his pops, but it was rough because she lost everything when she was locked up. Got out with 13, yeah. And then that's when shit like started going like down. When she got to like... Okay. Cause she ain't had shit, like she can't hold that shit down with my auntie. Like a lot of shit. Even though he was young, Nardo was understanding to their situation. Your mom gets out of jail, you're living with her. It, how was the living then? Was you was you back on y'all money shit or was yeah, it struggling? Nah, nah. It was real. Like I, I it was like bad. Like and she but she'll make it like try to seem good, but it was bad. Like mom was an OG though. No matter how low she got, she never let pride get in the way of getting them necessities like something to eat or borrowing two dollars for gas. My mom had to do shit like one time, like to get gas, she had to go in and ask the store clerk for two dollars, like borrow two, two dollars from the store clerk to get gas. Damn. It so time. it was real, real. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh my God, it was, it was at the house. My mama, we didn't have no money, like zero dollars. She ordered food with no money. And when people got that, she had that, like she couldn't find the money. And she was thugging it out, not reverting back to her old ways to get paper. In his teens, Nardo was already in the streets grinding to secure the bag. He had already started doing illegal activity, so by the time he was really getting into the streets, he was a young veteran. His skills as a football player was left in the past because Nardo wasn't about to be waiting to blow. He wanted to chase his dreams of being a rapper, and he was about to do it by any means necessary. You was playing football, right? I think, yeah. I think so. You was playing football? It was like high school? Nah, I high school. I played part one. I okay. Stop when I was like 14, 15. Okay. Why you stop? Cause I feel like it would take too long. Still, he stuck through and finished high school to fulfill his mom's wish of seeing him graduate. He really kept it real for his moms with that promise because he was kicked out of his first high school for skipping class and bad grades, but went to a second school and made his moms proud. From there, the natural order of things for the average kid is either college or maybe save up some money to further education or fund their career. But Nardo always looked at work like a cage. It was torment to have to plan your life around the rules and times of somebody else. You say you never had a job, you feel like that shit torture? Yeah. What you mean? 
Um, I just feel like it's torture. Like you gotta wake up at a certain time. You gotta be there. Somebody, shit like jail, you gotta answer to a nigga. You gotta like, go there. Somebody finna tell you what to do. Yeah. You, as far as Nardo saw it, he could hit a lick and make some quicker money, and that's exactly what he was doing. Nardo became a seasoned street cat, learning from his big bro, and was out terrorizing the city and catching smoke from his ops. I was doing everything with my big brother. Everything. Okay. Like, he, he was telling me everything. Like he taught me. Like I ain't never wear no ski mask or nothing. I used to wear my shirt. Like, like it was one time, like he ain't had no gloves. He told me to take my, my shoes off, hurry up, put my socks on. You feel me? Like that's how he taught me everything. Of course, street shit, like everything. Eventually, his mom's caught on to his shenanigans when she got suspicious and checked his phone while he was sleeping. Nardo had to experience his mom's breaking down and crying, realizing he'd been robbing, stealing, and doing everything under the sun in the streets. Here's when many kids' conscience would kick in, but not Nardo. He was a hustler. And the sad part is that he learned it from his mom's and his pops, and now she's crying because she knows the dangers of the lifestyle her son was living. And that's tough. Sure enough, the law eventually caught up on him. He nearly lost it all when he hit a lick with his homies and the person called the cops. But by the grace of God, he dodged on serious time because the cops didn't find the strap hitting in the whip. Instead, he got charged with petty theft. Right. So they never found the gun that you hit in the air conditioner? No. Nah. Wow, that's 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 crazy. I would've got, so, got robbery. Yo, that's a good thing that shit didn't happen, man, because you know robbery, that's... That's, yeah, yeah. that's 10, 15 years. Now, if you ain't stopped when your mother was crying about your lifestyle, then for sure your conscience might kick in after coming so close to losing your freedom or at least slowing down. Nardo has an iron will for the street life, though. Bro was unfazed and kept going. It wasn't that he didn't care, more like he always wanted to rap in the streets was his only way to fund that path. Through all this, him and his mom were still going through it, and he even had to sleep on the floor. That didn't stop the kid, though. One thing he had was heart. He was passionate about his rap dreams and went for it. Since a kid, he was rocking with cats like Gucci, Future, T.I., Wheezy, Eminem, right up to the new wave of artists like Yak and YB. Like, you know, like listening to what my dad and them listen to, like Gucci, Old Future, like the astronaut status, like the Old Future, well, T.I., like Lil Wayne, Eminem, and then when I got old, I started listening to my own shit. Like 14, young boy, Kodak. He started hitting the studio recording tracks, but Nardo's confidence in the booth wasn't up and it showed in his tracks. That just started to boost his grind to keep continuing to practice, and he found his voice and believed in himself. Luckily, he had parents who believed in him as well. His mom's became his manager. With having your mom as your manager, does that kind of take a load off of you about having to try to worry about like somebody like getting over on you or you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. not handling your business because you know like this is my mom and she's not gonna let anybody be over. It's so and she do more than just manage she do everything. And his pops quit Dylan and dedicated his time to supporting Nardo when he found out that he could rap. He bought a forty dollar mic for bro and every paycheck worked on getting him a home studio. His pops went even farther for his son and became self taught on how to engineer songs off of YouTube tutorials and over time perfected the craft to where Nardo didn't have to go to a studio but just record at home. That's some real love and support, and a lot of parents don't do that for their kids. It meant even more to Nardo, especially after he asked other family members for help to finance his career and close to no one would help out. And I guarantee you that they asking him for money now, though. I text to the group. I told my daddy, like, text to the group chat. Put everybody in the group chat and test them. I only want $100 from everybody. $100 out of all these thousands y'all from the get from income tax. Just $100. You feel me? And I, I make sure y'all scrape whenever that's time. Only out of all, like out of down there, all them people in my family, like I ain't gonna tax money. Got ten, five thousand dollars. Only two people gave me fifteen hundred dollars. As Nardo got older, his mindset brought him closer to achieving his dreams. He realized that in trying to come up and chase his career path, he was pulling innocent people down, taking what they had worked for. And he decided if he was going to make it in rap, then he'll let go of the streets. At age seventeen, he made the decision to put all of his attention to music. The only way to rap shit. Ain't gonna pop if I if I stop doing what I'm doing. Like I feel like shit just was never gonna pop if I'm doing what I was doing. The funny thing is, his breakout track that put him on the map along with future releases was recorded at home with his pops. So you were recording from the crib down there? Yeah, like who won't smoke, not not. Slide. Should any song I got out right now, that was from the house. The track that was called Who Wants Smoke. 
Nardo, having taken the time to do what many rappers fail to do, study the business and marketing end of the game, pushed this song through different avenues. He thought this through because he knew that he had a banger. Nardo even scrapped the first music video and redid it, taking out the amount of straps that were in the video as to not have any issues with the vid when it was public. Shot that video twice, is that right? Yeah, I you know. Yeah, you see, you see, yeah, I shot it twice. Yeah. First time, too many guns. Too many guns. Yeah. The track was tearing up the clubs, the streets, people's houses, TikTok. The catchy stomp and energy Nardo brought on the song was a street anthem. Mainstream artists like Herbo, Dirk, and Lil Baby was even vibing with the track, putting the youngin' even more on the map. Nardo was lit, but he was about to break the internet with the mega remix with a superstar cast of Dirk, Herbo, and 21 Savage. It was Nardo's time. His moms told him it was finna happen when he was dead broke to keep pushing, and her intuition was right. Nardo went from being a hood savage trying to support the fam and his dreams to being on major film soundtracks. Placing top 20 on the charts, torn with big names and having the crowd shouting out every word to his songs. Bro was up and the fame was stuck. Nardo dropped banger after banger like Shush and that joint Knock Knock. And it was all leading up to his album, Who Was Nardo Wick, which dropped in December 2021. The project was released under the record label RCA, who signed the rising superstar. So, did you sign? There's been rumors that you signed. Yeah, I signed. RCA. RCA. Nardo had next, but that always come with unwanted drama and problems in the rap game, especially if your past was wrapped up in the streets. First, a shorty Nardo was laying pipe to tried to expose the rapper for clout while bro was sleeping. Soon as you up, then these type of women see you as a come up for their 15 minutes of fame. After that, Nardo left fans worried with his career was over when video footage surfaced from 2021 of U.S. Marshals having Nardo on the road handcuffed like a most wanted criminal. Reports later updated the situation saying Nardo was arrested on charges for a concealed weapon. Luckily, fans got news that they could rest easy as charges against Nardo would drop. On an interview with Big Facts, he broke down what happened, saying they came for his bro on suspicion of a hit and found the strap that Nardo had in a bag with his jewelry and stuff. But they performed an illegal search on him because that's not what they were there for. I picked my brother up for murder, but they was, they was coming from him. Uh -huh. But we was all, we was leaving the hotel, we were finna come to Atlanta, we were getting in the car with our bag. Mm -hmm. And they all hopped out on us. But it was only for him, so they wasn't even supposed to fuck with me. And, right, but they ended up putting you in cuffs, putting you in the ground, all that it shit. It was only supposed to fuck with him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I had a bag, like a fetish, but I had a bag with me and there was a gun in the bag. Mm -hmm. And all my jewelry and shit was in the bag. And like, when they came, I dropped it. And they seen the bag and shit, and they took, they lighted everybody up, but. Nardo dodged a bullet and has since been back climbed higher in the rap ladder. With his success, rumors started circulating that him and YB had been beefing. AK came forward to expose the label for trying to start rumors to fat in their pockets. These labels are always pushing artists to beef and drum up attention, not realizing they're playing with the dude's lives. Label has paid for multiple shit that's going up on my page, and I've even made pushbacks on like, yo, y'all are promoting this guy through beat. I said it. Now here's the thing, you see everybody will jump at that. The label that's trying to really, and by the way, he signed the label. The label that's trying to pop it off of his song, his music, his beefs, because keep in mind, when he makes a million, they make ten. Since Nardo came into the game, he's been just keeping to his lane and that's the vibe he be on. So that rumor attempt that the label had died down without anything picking up steam. Hip hop basically saved Nardo's life from the path he was going down. He used to picture and imagine the money, the flex, until it became a reality. He manifested it no matter how hard it was to accomplish. I got my T and now. Mm -hmm. I take pictures in the mirror like this with nothing in my mouth, but I knew I won't get it. I took a picture <laughs> like this with nothing in my hand. What about like shit in my phone? I gotta get my phone. Yeah. Now I got like do everything. Manifested for real, yeah. Everyone that doubted him, all the teachers that clowned him in front of his moms for having dreams of being rich, I hope they see bro up now and winning. Nardo was still stepping his game up, expanding in business, and has a goal of reuniting Jacksonville, bringing artists together for a show. What you think you're using to rap as a as a um as a vehicle too though? Cause I'm sure there's other shit you want to do. Like I don't know business yeah. shit. Like whatever. do you invest or anything? I got one Airbnb. I want. 
trying to find the right. Like once some shit hit, pick up, I'm gonna do that. I don't remember that cryptocurrency shit too. Bro got a bright future ahead in this game. And I hope he stays on the right path and keep leveling up. And I hope that nobody tries to test his gangster because the streets is a part of him just as much as hip hop. So there you have it. Thanks for kicking it with your boy. Appreciate the love and support. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you think about Nardo Wick. I'll catch you when I spin back around for the next vid. And until then, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.